Hi, so today we're going to be installing CentOS 7 Linux inside of VMware Workstation. So we're going to be setting up a CentOS 7 VM using VMware Workstation 10. And I'll put out another video explaining how to do this exact same thing in VirtualBox as well. Um, so the first thing we'll do is we'll open VMware Workstation 10 and we'll create a new virtual machine. We'll leave it at typical and hit next. Now you're going to want to select the second one which is installer disk image file ISO. So I've already downloaded the ISO from the CentOS website and I'll just point VMware towards that now. I've put it on my desktop which it's right here. And then I'll hit next. I'll select Linux. It already knows that it's some sort of version of Red Hat Linux which is correct so we'll just hit next. If it for whatever reason it says like anything other than Red Hat Linux uh, 664 bit, you can just come in here and change it. We'll hit next. Now I'll change the name of it because it's not exactly Red Hat, it's CentOS, which is a little different. So I'll put CentOS 7. Uh, you can change the location of where the VM is going to live. Uh, for most people, this is fine. It'll just be stored in your documents folder in the virtual machines folder. But for me, I like to put all my virtual machines um, on another drive. So I'll just point it towards where they should be saved now. And I'll hit next. Uh oh. We'll just call it CentOS then. Um, the maximum disk size, uh, I'll leave it at 20 gigabytes. That's plenty of space for this. And I'll also leave the memory here at 2 gigabytes, which is plenty of space. If you want to come in and customize hardware, maybe you don't have enough memory on your machine. I have 16 gigabytes on this machine. Uh, you can drop it down to 1 gigabyte or 512, uh, whatever you want to do if you want to play around with any of these. But for now, I'll just hit finish. Now we're all set. As you can see, it's already configured, so I'll just power it on. I'll click power on. It's asking me, do I want to connect these devices? We'll just hit OK to get out of that. So now we're in, uh, this is what it looks like when you boot to the ISO, this is the screen that comes up. So I'll want to install CentOS 7. So I'll click the first one. I'll hit the enter key again to begin the installation process. And there it goes. So welcome to CentOS 7. So now we'll select our language, which is English. I'll hit continue. We'll give it a second. Uh, it'll figure out what the installation source is. Installation destination. Destination. It's going to ask you to select the disk here. So we'll just do that. Uh, the software selection. So you have some options in here. If you want to do a bare minimal install, uh, which is just you'll just get the command line interface then you can select the minimal install here this is great if you're setting up like a web server or something like that um, there's also some um, other options for other types of servers um, you can also set up a server with a GUI if you want the GUI desktop you can also set up a GNOME desktop, a KDE Plasma workspace you name it whatever whatever you want to do for the purpose of this just so that as soon as you install it you can up and go with it. Uh, we'll do the GNOME desktop. I personally prefer the KDE, but uh, I think this one is a bit more popular at the moment. So we'll click GNOME desktop and hit done. It'll check the dependencies. It'll take a couple of minutes. Okay, so now we're ready to go. So now we can hit begin installation. Again, if you don't change this, it'll default to uh, the command line interface. So when you are done installing everything and you reboot, you'll just have the little prompt. So make sure you come in here and, and select the uh, software that you want. Uh, so now we'll begin the installation. So it's going to ask us to set up a root password. So this is the super super admin password. So I'll come in and set that. Nice strong password. Then we'll come in here and create a user, or else no user will be created. So we'll do public user and
and now we'll hit done. You can also make this one an administrator as well if you don't want to default to having to use uh, root all the time, but I'll leave it. Uh, it's a little more secure this way and I'll hit done. So now the user, public user will be created and now we'll just wait. Okay, I had to fast forward that a little bit, but now we will reboot. Now that the installation is complete. We'll hit enter to start CentOS. You can also make this full screen. Looks like I didn't accept the license, so I'll just hit done. We'll sign in. We can unpin this if you don't want to see the VMware bar up here. We can just simply unpin it and it goes away. Okay, so we'll just log in. So now we're in. Um, if you don't want to see this uh, VMware bar up here, which can be pretty annoying because it blocks uh, the bar up here for CentOS, you can just hit that to unpin it. It will always be there if you need it. You just you know scroll up to the top. Um, so English is our language. We'll just hit next, next, and now I can start using CentOS. So as you can see, it looks really really good. Um, 
Uh, that's pretty much it. So I'll post some other videos about how to get you know up and running with this, installing things, and configuring it uh, the way you like. So just look forward to those videos coming soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.